Good morning, everybody. Today, we'll demonstrate the depression in bridging point. We have taken two beakers, labeled as PO solvent and solution, and then added PO water to both of them. Okay. So now, we will add salt to the beaker leveled as solution so that we will get truly the solution. We have now two beakers containing pure solvent and solution. And after experimenting, we will also uh, proceed towards the derivation of the depression in freezing point to prove it as a colligative properties. Okay, let us now start with the pure solvent. Here is the thermometer. The room temperature is 24. Now as we dipped it into the pure solvent, now see how the temperature is going down. Okay, now this is 5 degrees centigrade and slowly going down 4 degrees centigrade then now it is 3 degrees centigrade and now it is approaching the 0 degree centigrade okay you see how slowly and now it is exactly at 0 degree centigrade but when we took the solution the case is different we'll also do the same with the solution here we go Yes, the temperature is going down and down and down. Now it is at 8 degrees centigrade, 5 degrees centigrade, 4 degrees centigrade and still going down slowly and it is approaching zero. Let's see whether it is going still down to show us the depression in freezing point as compared to uh, the zero degree centigrade freezing point of the pure solvent. Yes, now it is going down, you see. Now it is at minus one degree centigrade. This is called the depression. Yes, again it is going down. This is at 2 degrees centigrade. It is clearly seen from the thermometer, dipped in the solution, showing the depression in freezing point. Now it is exactly at 2 degrees centigrade, means minus 2 degrees centigrade, showing us a depression of 2 degrees centigrade as compared to the 0 degree centigrade of the freezing point of the pure solvent. So, the depression in freezing point is equal to the difference between the, di uh, the difference between the freezing points of the pure solvent and the solution. That is two degree centigrade. This is what is the depression in freezing point of the solution. So, what is freezing point? Freezing point is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of the solid becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the liquid. And the temperature at which both the form, that means the solid and liquid form, coexist. Do you get me? So, this is uh, the temperature at which both solid and liquid coexist and both have and both have the same vapor pressure did you get me so we will now try to show that through a graph okay here we have a graph vapor pressure versus temperature 
Okay? So, you see, here, the vapor pressure of the solid increases as the temperature increases. Okay? In this direction, the vapor pressure of the solvent decreases as the temperature decreases. So, as we know, as we increase the temperature, vapor pressure increases. So, this is the temperature where the vapor pressure of the solid and the liquid, means the solvent, pure solvent, becomes equal. And by the definition, this temperature is the freezing point of the pure solvent. But as we know, when we add solute to the solvent, the vapor pressure of the solution becomes less than the pure solvent. We can also see that thing in our graph. You see, in the solution, the vapor pressure of the solution is less than the pure solvent. That's why it is coming down the solvent. And the vapor pressure uh, is now decreasing as the temperature decreases and the vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to the vapor pressure of the solid at a lower temperature. You compare this temperature and this temperature. This temperature is less than this temperature and this temperature is the freezing point of the solution because at this temperature the vapor pressure of the solid and vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal. Okay, so uh, you should note one thing that the solid of the pure solvent and the solid in case of a solution are one thing. They, they have the same vapor pressure so that we do not need two different curves for the solid in the pure solvent and the solid in the solution. That's why we have a single solid curve. Are you getting that? That's why you see this is the temperature uh, at which the vapor pressure of the pure solvent becomes equal to the solid. Hence that is the freezing point of the pure uh, solvent and when the vapor pressure of the solution becomes equal to the, uh, the solid, uh, the solid, then that becomes the uh, that means that becomes the freezing point of the solution. So the, the difference between the temperature, these two temperature, freezing point of pure solvent, freezing point of solution, gives us the depression in freezing point. This LTF is the depression in freezing point. Are you getting enough? Now. We must observe one thing that lower is the vapor pressure of the solution, greater will be the depression of the freezing point. How? You see, this is a solution whose vapor pressure is lower than the pure solvent. If we'll have another solution whose vapor pressure is still lower, then the curve will take a form like this and the vapor pressure of this solution, this solution 1, this will be solution 2 whose vapor pressure will be equal to the vapor pressure of the solid at still lower temperature. This will be Tf days and for which for solution 2 the depression in freezing point will be this del tf dash del tf dash so lower is the vapor pressure uh, if we take one another solution 3 then still lower will be the uh, that means lower will be the temperature at which the solution will breach okay so uh, one thing is now clear uh, the lowering in vapor pressure or more clearly 
the relative lowering in vapor pressure is you know directly proportional to the depression in freezing point that means higher is the lowering in vapor pressure higher will be the depression in freezing point we observe it from the graph and accordingly our derivation will uh, that means follow in that direction so now we will write that the depression in freezing point is directly proportional to the lowering in vapor pressure. This lowering in vapor pressure again is directly proportional to the mole fraction of the solute in the solution. So, from these two relationships, we can write del Tf directly proportional to x solute okay and accordingly now we can get that how this depression in freezing point is a colligative property okay so now del tf is equal to k x solute this is the mole fraction of the solute. So it is equal to K number of mole of solute divided by total moles. Total mole means moles of solute by a uh, sorry mole of solute plus mole of solvent. So as in case of a dilute solution uh, the mole of uh, you know uh, the solute is very less we can write the mole total mole can be taken as the total mole of the solvent okay so uh, this can be written as k uh, n solute by n solvent is equal to K N solute by weight of solvent by molecular mass of solvent. This gives the moles of solvent. So, so taking the molecular mass of the solvent to off, we get del tf is equal to k into n solute into molecular mass of solvent divided by weight of solvent a given mass of solvent okay now as you know the molecular mass of the solvent is a constant. If we will multiply that molecular mass of the solvent with this constant, constant into constant giving rise to another constant, we write is equal to Kf into N solute by weight of solvent. So that Kf is the molar depression constant or we call it the cryoscopic constant okay so kf is the molar depression constant molar depression constant or cryoscopic constant did you get it now so uh, we now have the formula, final formula of this depression in freezing point Kf into number of moles of solute dissolved for kg of the solvent. And interestingly, since we know that number of moles of solute dissolved for kg of the solvent is called the molality, L-I-T-Y. So we can write del Tf is equal to Kf into 
M dex. This M dex is the this M dex. This M dex is the molality. This M dex is the molality. Okay. So. So now we can develop the equation further by applying the formula of the molality. So that gives us del Tf is equal to Kf into W into 1000 by small f into capital W. By multiplying 1000, we have converted this W means mass of the solvent. This mass of the solvent in gram that was in kg when we have converted into gram so we have multiplied 1000 now this m is the molecular mass of solute molecular mass of solute this w is the weight of mass of given mass of solute that means the mass of solute that will be dissolved uh, uh, into the solvent okay so this is the final formula of the depression in freezing point did you get me now so uh, since now this depression in freezing point is related to the molecular mass of the solute that means depression in freezing point is related to the number of particles because molecular mass is related to moles and mole is related to the number of particles so as we know any property of a solution that depends on the number of particle of the solute is a colligative property so similarly this delta f depression in freezing point is a colligative property hope that you understand well and uh, in the coming classes we will solve some problems, numeric cards, related to uh, this depression in pitching point. Thank you.